With the newest graphics overhaul, CS2 looks absolutely stunning, but not everyone's systems have been able to keep up. If this includes you, look no further, because in this video, we'll walk through every setting and tweak you need to know in order to unleash your PC's highest potential frame rate and unchain that beast hidden inside. For instance, here's my frame rate before and after optimizing, in which you can see a pretty significant difference. So without further ado, let's dive right in. But first, this video is sponsored by SkinsMonkey, which is a trading site where you can instantly and safely trade your CS2 skins. They're now offering a 30% deposit bonus which could be 35% if you use our code Loot Ladder. But check out the Freebies tab if you just want something completely free. Use the link in the description for a free $5 bonus. To kick things off, we're going to get right into the nitty gritty and go into our advanced video settings within CS2. Here you'll find many different options that we can tweak for Buku frames. Now before we start, I recommend keeping an eye on this preview window located here on the left-hand side of the screen, which basically allows you to view how each setting will impact your game's overall visibility in real time, making it super easy to fine-tune things as we move along. Now if your game's running chop copy on high settings, consider lowering anything related to shadows or particles first, as these primarily enhance aesthetics rather than gameplay. Go ahead and test your new settings and game for a more accurate FPS reading, but if you still absolutely need to squeeze some more frames, then you could start turning down your texture settings and then anti-aliasing. If you've done all this and things are still looking grim, there's also a sort of secret graphics setting that will guarantee you more FPS, though it may not be perfect at the time of making this video. The setting in question would be this FSR option all the way down at the bottom, but I keep mine disabled because I don't need it. If you have the same version of FSR as I do, you may find that the picture gets slightly grainier the higher the option that you use. But do keep in mind though that this is an older edition of FSR, and Valve will likely update this feature in the future, which would completely get rid of this grain. With that said, I just thought it was worth a mention in case you did notice a degradation in graphics quality. But here's a side-by-side -side comparison for you to judge on your own. Next, maybe something to consider is playing in a lower resolution, or maybe even in a 4x3 aspect ratio, which would run the game in a smaller picture and easily boost your FPS. The degree to which you'd need to change these settings though is ultimately up to you, because you know your setup best and how many pixels you're willing to sacrifice. I'll go over the NVIDIA steps first, since most of you are probably using an NVIDIA card, but then I'll go over the AMD side of things, so feel free to skip ahead in the chapters of the video below if you have an AMD GPU. To enable or disable black bars with an NVIDIA GPU, we'll simply click on the hidden icon button on the bottom right of our taskbar, right-click the NVIDIA button, and select our NVIDIA control panel. Here you'll look around for a tab called Adjust Desktop Size and Position and click that. Now in front of us we have several scaling mode options to pay attention to and pick from. But first you want to find the override game checkbox and make sure that's enabled. And also make sure your scaling device is set to display instead of GPU. The option called aspect ratio will give you whatever aspect ratio you have selected in game but without any stretching. So this option would be selected for playing with black bars. Full screen being the next option stretches your current aspect ratio to your original display resolution resulting in the stretched effect you're probably looking for if you're wanting to play 4x3. No scaling is the one we probably won't ever mess with as it can leave black bars not only on the top but on the bottom of the screen as well resulting in a much smaller image. Now for AMD users, the process is largely similar. Let's open our AMD Adrenaline software and navigate to settings at the top right and then find display along the top. Go into the display settings and make sure FreeSync is off, then turn on GPU scaling. And for black bars, we'd want to select preserve aspect ratio for our scaling mode. Though if you wanted stretch res, you'd simply select full panel. Center leaves the image untouched like Nvidia's no scaling option, so we probably won't ever mess with that. Once these settings are applied, because of some fault with AMD software, we must next open the gaming tab along the top of the screen, find CS2, right click it, and remove it. Then we'll simply re-obtain it by refreshing our games list at the top right of the screen. Enter the settings of the game by clicking it and make sure AMD FreeSync is disabled. Then make sure your preferred scaling mode is set for the game itself. And just like that, you should now be set to launch the game in 4x3 with your preferred scaling mode. If you're still struggling after changing these settings or you simply want to squeeze out some more performance, there's one last thing we can try by messing with some hidden window settings and control panel. Let's turn our attention to optimizing our PC's appearance and animations. Press the Windows plus R keys to open Run, then either type or paste from below System Properties Performance.exe and press Enter. Presented are a lot of animation options, and the fewer we keep enabled, the less work that will be left for our GPU and its VRAM, essentially allocating ourselves more FPS. Everyone's preferences here will be different though, so feel free to experiment with your own and take mine with a grain of salt. If you're still struggling with FPS up to this point and have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment as we're always here to help. Thanks so much for watching.